To start off, let's start our plane. Scale it up. Now in render properties, we need to use cycles. Also change to experimental. And I suggest GPU to render. In viewport samples, I'm going to use 32. You can activate the noise if you like. And for final render, it's up to you. I will use 800 samples. Now let's add a subdivision surface modifier. We can use simple. Also activate adaptive subdivision. Now in material properties, add a new material. Then here in settings, in displacement, we need to change to displacement and bump. Now I'm going to open a new window here and change to shader editor. Now switch to viewport shading. Then in word properties, let's add a sky texture. We can play with the sun rotation and elevation. Also the strength. Now here in the shader, uh, we can choose a color. I'm gonna set roughness to one and specular to zero. Later we'll use textures here, but for now just the color. Now uh, let's add a noise texture. Also a displacement node. Now connect factor to height and displacement to displacement. Here in the displacement node, we can change the mid level. Also the scale. And here in noise texture, we can change the noise scale. Also increase the detail. And you can play with roughness and distortion if you like. Then we can add a color ramp. And place it between noise and displacement. Now we can move the black color to make the ground. Also, I'm going to change to a gray color to lower the strength. And move the white color to flatten the top. Now in displacement, just lower the scale. In the color ramp, click the plus button to add a new color. Move it to the right to add some details. Or change the color to black and move it to the left to create holes like a crater. We can add a mix color. Then duplicate the noise texture and add a new color ramp. Connect into the second slot. As you can see, we can add rocks on the top. But I'm going to use it for the ground. 
just move to the left. Now let's add some textures. Uh, select the shader and press Ctrl T. We can use generated. Now add the rock texture. In scale, we can repeat the texture. And now we can add a mix color. Duplicate the texture. And now add the grass texture. Connect into the second slot. And select the texture. Now press Ctrl T. And we can also repeat the texture. Now Shift A and search for geometry. Also separate X, Y and Z. And also a color ramp. Now connect from normal to separate. Z to color ramp, then color ramp to factor. Now just move the colors to play with the textures. As you can see, it will leave the grass based on the Z axis. And let's go to render properties. Under subdivision, here in viewport, um, by default, it is 8 pixels. The lower this value, the higher resolution we have, higher details, but this is only for the viewport. Then we have Dicing Red Render. This is for the final render. By default, it is 1 pixel. But if you have any issue rendering, like run out of VRAM, just increase this value. Now go back to the shader editor and select the noise texture and press Ctrl T. Now we can change the scale, rotation and position of the textures. Feel free to play with the settings to your liking. Now I'm going to connect mapping to the second noise texture. We can create different shapes. I'm going to add a boring texture. Then a noise texture. And I'm going to change to multifractal. Now with a mix color, connect all the textures. And I'm going to set to screen. We can lower factor. Then press Ctrl T to create the mapping nodes. Of course, we can use image textures. I'm going to use this texture and connect into mix color. In color space, we should use none color. And we can also add a color ramp to control the texture. Okay, I hope this helps. See you next time.